Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to discuss another very important journal of IEEE whose name is IEEE Transactions on Medical Imaging. So you can see the homepage of the um, journal and it is listed under the journal and magazines category of IEEE. Like the usual journal of uh, IEEE, you can see that uh, the impact factor, eigenvalue, article influences, score, site score and all the popular menus are available on the uh, homepage and it is the usual format of uh, IEEE journals. So it is uh, mostly common for most of the journals. Additionally, some of the societies who have uh, support for this particular transaction, they are listed here. So IEEE Signal Processing Society, AMP, and uh, some other societies like IEEE NPSS have support for this particular transaction. Now coming down to the submissions. So here it is also known as in short PMI, okay, Transaction on Medical Imaging. And uh, the manuscripts uh, which are submitted uh, in this particular journal focus on the imaging of body structure, morphology, and the function, and the cellular and the uh, molecular imaging. Okay. Additionally, the microscopy and all other related forms are also under the consideration. Now, the journal obviously publishes the original contributions because it is the ethical guidelines and high quality because obviously the journal has been quite popular nowadays. Additionally, the things uh, including the ultrasound, sex ray, magnetic resonance. Then radio nucleides, microwaves, and optical methods are also under the focus. In addition to this, some novel acquisition techniques, energy, uh, medical image processing, and then this is visualization and the performance pattern recognition, machine learning, and the related methods are addressed. So, just uh, uh, reading all these things, you will get to know that most of the medical related things and how to capture the medical images and how to do the better analysis and sort of technologies and techniques are the focus of this particular journal. Additionally, like the usual uh, guidelines, uh, this particular journal also accepts the article and peer review in accordance with the IEEE PSPP operation manual. And uh, the coming to the uh, latest published articles and the popular articles. So if you go to the latest published articles, you will get to know a basic idea that what sort of uh, recent focus and recent articles are supposed to consider for publication. So you will have a basic idea that what sort of things you should focus on to get into this particular journal. So here you can see the uh, sound speed imaging of uh, the bones and the tissues. Additionally, the deep learning based uh, reconstruction and localization of lesions. Then the semi-supervised segmentation. So the use of ML and DL, not ML, means a bit restricted of ML because in medical sector, lots of image and data is available. So usually deep learning is in the practice. So lots of deep learning and, and the semi-supervised, supervised or the unsupervised learning based techniques are used for the analysis of the existing data. Now, uh, it's uh, not uh, uncommon because wherever the big data comes into the picture, the machine learning or the uh, deep learning based techniques come into picture. Coming to the editor, uh, so here the editor in chief, so Leslie Yang is the editor in chief of this particular journal and uh, the uh, professor belongs to the University of New York, the State University of New York. Then coming to the author's resources, so like usual IEEE journals, so the submission guidelines, submit manuscript, author central, becoming a reviewer and the additional information are provided over down here. Next, if you move to the all issues, you will get to know that how long the journal has been in function. So here you can see that since 1980s, so 1982 means almost whole 80s. So uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, the almost 50 years old. In general, it's in progress, not 50 because 2020 is not completed yet. So 40s, uh, 42, 44 uh, years old journal, so quite old and uh, having very good impact factor. And it is, uh, whether it's SCI or not, we'll see just now. And uh, we will focus, uh, as I always tell in my videos, that you should always firstly check whether the journal is SCI or not. Secondly, what is the Q ranking? And then you should be bothered about the impact factor. Okay, that's why I didn't focus much on uh, impact factor despite being so good in this particular category. Okay, now, uh, and uh, one also important thing that uh, usually researchers are debate about that uh, which category journals usually have higher impact factor. So obviously medical fields uh, do have the higher impact factor journals because most of the research uh, uh, has its roots in medical forms and uh, most of the research in active domains remain in focus with respect to the medical sectors. Now, coming to the IEEE, uh, it's a SCI listing. We'll see the current later. First, we'll see the SCI listing. So, we'll search the SCI list. Then, it'll 
give us the first link in the form of Clarivit. So we will search our journal. And uh, here we see that it is the science edition index expanded. Okay, so most of the electronic form journals got uh, added into the SCI list and hence the SCIE science edition index expanded came into picture. And uh, now you can see that it is the part of the above science core collection. And thus this journal is SCIE. Okay, so the journal is SCI. Now looking to the Q ranking. So here it is the transaction. Its H index is very good. Uh, H index of 100 is considered good, but you can see it is more than 200. So you can imagine. Okay, then it is a USA journal offering three tracks computer science, engineering, and health professions, uh, including the sub tracks uh, in the form of radiological and ultrasound technology, electrical and electronic engineering, computer science and application, and the software. Okay, coming down here, you have that this journal has these assessment. The coverage is from 1982 to 2020, and some of the homepage publishing related links. The scope we have already seen, so we are not going again into this particular depth. And this is the most fantastic thing. You can see that then they have given data up from 1999 to 2020 only, but you can see that the in this span, this journal has been completely given. Before that or later, uh, they are not given, but I believe that it might be continuing its performance and definitely. So uh, based on this data, we can say that as per the uh, say Mago 2020, it is a Q1 ranked journal having it is SCI Q1 and the impact factor of the 100. So it's an elite class journal, and you should definitely go for if you are working in the field of medical imaging. But due to tough competition, if you don't get into, then there are some of the other popular choices. So the computerized medical imaging and graphics medical imaging analysis, International Journal of Medi Biomedical Imaging, Journal of Medical Imaging, and some more. Are given here so you can consider okay as a choice of as the alternate choice then some of the links like the sgr so it is very down drastically down in 2020 which is a bit concerned total number of documents are continuously on survey which is a good sign additionally the citations per document with respect to last two years is better than with respect to last three years which is good thing but it is less than with respect to last four years so it should improve more okay now coming to the self-citation so it is a bit concerned because in 2020 self-citations and uh, the total number of citations gap uh, got a bit reduced but it should keep on increasing because there should be minimal number of uh, self-citations but very good thing that here you can see the number of self-citations are almost nil because uh, the external citations and the total number of citations graph are almost nothing okay in this way uh, coming here, you can see the international collaboration again continuously going down. Perhaps the independent researchers are publishing more or they are doing independent research. And uh, second thing that the citable documents, uncitable documents are almost killed, which is a very good thing, means the ethical policies and the publishing policies are in practice uh, uh, seriously. And in this way, out of the publishable document, in the citable documents, here you can see the cited documents are more as usual. But uh, obviously the unsighted documents are there, but the rate is low, which is uh, which shows that uh, the journal is quite popular and almost every journal comes into citation. But here you can see in comparison to 646, only 72 journals got, went unsighted. And in future they may get citation. And uh, if you don't get citations uh, with respect to a particular year, don't worry because most of the uh, articles uh, do get the citations in future one or two years later because they come into picture to the actual uh, domain or the publication and uh, some of the technologies do come into actual form after some period of time so then people do focus more on then they explore the related literature, literature inside the articles additionally if your research didn't get any citation don't worry because you have published into a good journal or transaction then it proves that you have done sufficiently good work now you might be working very uh, deeply into a topic or you might be working into a very focused direction that's why some of the very few authors or the people are working in that direction and your work didn't get into notice okay so don't worry now coming to the final conclusion so it's a general is overall q1 ranked and has a sgr 20 score of 2.32 now coming to the final conclusion so it's from my opinion general is sca is q1 and has a very good uh, impact factor. So in this way, you should definitely go for it. Additionally, some of the major research areas and the keywords and you should always be uh, known uh, about. And I think some of the related research areas with respect to this particular journal is the digital image processing, quite obvious. 
and machine learning, deep learning, artificial neural networks, radiology, medical physics, then computer vision. If you go into the kind of modeling of the medical systems and then the linear algebra, uh, or topics and uh, the information theory, computer graphics becomes a very good part because again, in medical imaging, the graphics should be very important and they are important. Okay. And the Fourier analysis, neuro ophthalmology, etc. Okay. Coming to the keywords, and now the keywords define that what uh, particular keywords you should focus on. And if your research includes these sort of keywords, then this particular general or transaction becomes a popular choice for you. So if your research includes the convolution network, medical imaging, iterative rate construction, and the images, image restoration, segmentation, and the image registration, tomography, then the uh, Markov models, uh, data sets, uh, deep learning, machine learning, then I think. If your work is a well mix of these sort of terms, then I think your work is a suitable work for this particular journal or transaction. Okay. Additionally, more than 180 plus uh, countries authors have been publishing their works with the IEEE transaction on medical imaging. So I think uh, uh, it shows that how powerful this particular journal is, and you should go for this particular journal. Additionally, some of the other popular choices. Uh, I have already told you on a same ago, but in addition to this, some of the authors who have published with this particular transaction, they also publish their work with medical physics, neuroimage, and uh, the magnetic resonance in medicine. Proceedings of SPI, the International Society for Optical Engineering, then Journal of American College of Cardiology, International Journal of uh, Radiation Oncology, then Journal of Cardiovascular Magnetic Resonance, Physics in medical and biology, JASA Express letters, etc. Okay, so I think these are some of the popular journals. Additionally, if you want to change your publisher also, then I think you may consider the elsewhere value, SPI, then uh, Springer, IOP Publishing, Oxford University Press, Society of Nuclear Medicine, uh, then uh, Acoustic Society of America, Sage Publishing, etc. Coming down to the rate of returning authors, so the rate of returning authors is continuously on search. Uh, in between, it went down one or two years, but uh, considering the reputation impact factor as well as the uh, indexing of the journal, these sort of journals always have a high rate of returning authors because uh, your single uh, article in these sort of journals give you major recognition. Additionally, you have a chance to collaborate with the world's top renowned scientists and researchers. And uh, your single work in these sort of journals or transactions may give you lots more citations in comparison to some normal journal. So in this way, considering all these factors, people do try to move again uh, uh, back to back uh, publishing into these sort of journals. So what are your opinions with respect to this particular journal? Please let me know. Additionally, if I missed something and uh, you think that I have uh, analyzed wrongly some of the things, then please let me know through your comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching this video again and happy learning.